Hi, my name is Mandy. I'm a labor and delivery nurse and lactation counselor here at Munson Healthcare Grayling Hospital. Now you've gone home with this baby. The nurses are gone. All the people who are supporting you in the hospital are gone. It might feel like you're all alone out there with this baby who you might be experiencing trouble with nursing, different things in your experience in the hospital. One of the biggest problems moms have once they've gone home with the baby is getting the baby to latch on properly. Some of the things that we can try to do for this are skin to skin. Starting a feeding skin to skin is always the best way to go. And if things don't seem right, you can always go back to skin to skin. That helps create a calming atmosphere for baby and for you. The other things we can do are catching our baby before they're too hungry. If we start putting them skin to skin when they're even sleeping still and in that light sleep state, then they're ready, more ready to nurse. Um, we can try repositioning the baby. We can try letting dads hold the baby. Babies know what moms have. They know what they can get from us. But if they're fussy, that's not a good place to start. We wanna let baby get in a calm state before we try to start nursing them. And sometimes dads can help us with that. They can hold baby and calm baby, and then we can put baby back skin to skin with us and start a feeding over. It's okay to stop if things aren't going well. Take a breath, step away, let dads help us, let baby go skin to skin, and start over and then maybe everybody will be in a more calm state and more ready to feed. Another common challenge is a baby who won't sleep. You're exhausted because you've been up and then put the baby down and the baby is back up and then you put the baby down. This is a common cycle. If you can get sleep somewhere in between, let dads help, let grandparents help, let people help just short little naps. Know that you have people there to support you. Another common concern a lot of new parents have is that their baby's not getting enough milk. We can't see how much they're getting when we're breastfeeding. We just have to trust that they're getting enough. There are ways that we can do this though. There are ways that help us to know if our baby is getting enough. We can see how many wet diapers they have. You should track your wet diapers and they should have one wet diaper for every day of life old they are. So that means the first day all they need is one wet diaper. When you go home at day three, they only need three wet diapers. Until they're six days old, then they should have six to eight wet diapers every day and not go down from that. Another thing we can do is have our babies weighed. Have our babies weighed often. And if they're gaining weight, that's what they should be doing and they're getting enough. We need to give them time to get back up to their birth weight. We don't want them to go down too much, but they get two weeks to get back up to birth weight. The other thing we can do is see if we feel emptied, if our breasts feel emptied after a feeding, then baby's getting something. And if they seem satisfied and full, then they're probably getting enough from us. These are things that we can do to know our baby's getting enough. As a new mom breastfeeding, you might be experiencing some physical discomfort yourself. Sometimes babies don't latch on quite properly and we might have sore nipples or cracked nipples or bleeding nipples. If any of this seems like it's happening, get help from your nurse or your lactation consultant right away. We don't want the problems to continue and sometimes it can be just a real easy, quick fix that they can see and help you with baby's latch and then things will be good to go. You might experience engorgement when your milk comes in or shortly thereafter. Your milk will come in somewhere between three and seven days and when that comes in, you might feel really full and your breasts might hurt. Some things that we can do for this are, the best thing is take a hot shower and let that milk come out just a little bit. If we do things to express the milk, that's just telling our bodies to make more and more and more and we're just gonna get more engorged. So you want to nurse your baby as often as they want to, and then just try the hot shower and see if that releases some of the engorgement. One of the best things you can do to help make sure breastfeeding is successful is to get education before your baby's even born. Attend the breastfeeding classes closest to you. You can find these on the Healthy Futures website. Another thing you can do is attend breastfeeding support groups in your area. There's other moms there who have experienced similar difficulties you may be experiencing or gone through things that are similar to you and you have people there who can relate to you and help you and guide you in the direction to successful breastfeeding. It's a great opportunity for you to meet other people who are going through similar things as you.